Good evening, everybody. It's Mel. Welcome back to my kitchen, and welcome back to another What's for Dinner. This week, I was at Bible school Sunday through Friday night, so everything I made for my family had to be quick, easy, but also delicious. So hang in here. I've got about three crock pot meals, some new sliders, and I'm going to bring you the yummy, delicious, good, and the scary, ugly, bad. There was a pretty bad one this week. No fault of its own. It was my doings. So sit back, relax, grab you a glass of sweet tea, and let's get right into it. The first meal I'm showing you is just a quick overview of the Pioneer Woman Sloppy Joes. I've made this before in a video. I'll link you a card above and I'll link it below as well as a pin to her recipe. This is a family favorite. I started out strong Sunday afternoon. I made these for dinner and then I knew we could have them another night this week. They always please. We had a great time at Bible school. We had 70 to 80 kids each night and a total of about 100 to maybe 105 or 110 total. That included all the adults and volunteers that helped as well. We had to, you know, do things a little different this year, but it worked out great and we were just glad to get to have Bible school again. The kids were ready and the teachers and adults helpers were ready too. We sure missed it last summer. Bible school's exhausting, but it is also so rewarding. And I thank each of you that commented on my community post um, the various nights of the week. Appreciate your thoughts and prayers being with us. So Pioneer Woman, Sloppy Joes, you can never go wrong with them. They were good this week as always. And next this week on Monday night, I tried a new recipe for some chicken bacon ranch sliders. First thing I'm going to do is prepare my sauce and you melt a stick of butter and you put in a teaspoon of garlic powder and then a half a teaspoon of onion powder. You take the either slider buns or rolls of your choice. This is the hardest part of these slider recipes for me is always getting this bread cut. This was the Walmart brand of King's Hawaiian. And when I bought this, I noticed the bottom was almost frozen. So I guess Walmart keeps a lot of their bread maybe in the freezers out and you know in their stock room. So um, I don't know if it you know was just thawing out and it just it made it hard to cut it tastes delicious but um, like I said I thought that was interesting you know the bottom of it was frozen when I picked it up So once you get the top of your buns cut apart nicely, you're just going to set them over to the side and start building the sliders. These were so delicious. I'll definitely be making these again. I usually just stick to the ham, but these were so very good. So I finally got through that. And you're going to start just by taking a brush and brushing the bottom part of your rolls with some of that butter uh, that you've seasoned up. Then you're going to start building your sliders. And I use Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese slices. Just kind of broke them apart and put them um, enough to fit the bottom of the buns. 
and then I have a deli chicken and I always like to get it shaved because my family just likes the the way the shaved texture is in a slider or a pull apart bread and you're welcome to cook your own bacon up but I was going quick and easy and I used some prepared real bacon bits then you take about a third a cup of ranch dressing and you're just going to drizzle that on top of that bacon and then try to smooth it out just you know to make sure you have a little bit of ranch dressing everywhere then you come in with more of your Colby Monterey Jack cheese and I thought this was an interesting step you're gonna brush you some butter right on top of that cheese gives it a little goodness down in there too then you come back over with your tops and use the remaining butter mixture just to coat well over the top brush it all over the top I did go around the sides a little bit just to make sure I had some of that good buttery flavor everywhere and then last but not least you're just going to use you a little bit of the green can parmesan cheese like you use on spaghetti and just sprinkle that across the top and that gives it a really good twang on the end too cover it with full and put it in the oven for about 20 minutes covered and then uncover it and cook it another 10 minutes and it comes out perfect and brown you don't have to worry about any of these measurements or any of the instructions just check my description box as always I'll either have you a recipe typed out or I will have you a link to a recipe video or pen those were so good and so gooey that was the best flavor we certainly enjoyed these like I said I'll be making them again had some dill pickles and potato chips quick easy and out the door in no time now the next night I prepared some meatballs actually this is a crock pot recipe I've made it a million times you just use a bottle of barbecue sauce and a jar of grape jelly mix it up and I was so glad I had one crock pot liner left I use a big bag of frozen meatballs I like the home style especially for this put your mixture over the top I have always cooked these on high for three hours and then I cut them off because I've only made these for like appetizers or you know Christmas dinner something like that but I thought in my mind I think if I just cook these from frozen on low they'll be fine when I'm at work all day well friends they were not fine look at these little black meatballs when I got home that afternoon and checked them I was like this does not look right so I plated them up let's just give them their moment in the Sun I tried to eat a few of them not good so uh, there's when I was glad I made the sloppy Joe's on Sunday so we could have them when I cut this I want you to look at how far that burn ring comes in on them I had to show you because it happens to the best of us get in a hurry you know like I said I thought these would be fine honey I thought wrong they were not fine I will bring them back to you how I make them and they turn out good one day so you can see that I'll redeem myself so the next day I thought I just give some barbecue sauce and chicken a try now see if I can uh, get this right I've made this a bunch of times too and I did have my chicken from frozen just put that in a grease crock pot and then I just use another bottle of our favorite barbecue sauce 
and I like to drain off some crushed pineapple and I just had a small can so that's what I used gives it a little extra sweetness and I just cooked this on low all day while I was gone to work and I'm gonna make two meals out of this and this always turns out fine had some baked potatoes that I had thrown in the oven just as soon as I got in. The way I do my baked potatoes is I just rub them in some olive oil and sprinkle them with some sea salt and I'll just show you preparing my plate here tonight. Super easy. I love a good salad. A lot of times I'll just buy this butter lettuce salad. If I'm going to buy a bag salad, this is the one I want. It doesn't have that odd flavor or twang, and the butter lettuce just really seems to hold up well in the fridge for a week. So we ate out of this bag of salad a couple nights. It's mainly me and my daughter that like to eat the salads anyway. The reason that I'm showing you how I prepare this is I have had a couple of people ask me before when they see my plate, what are the little uh, black things in my salad? And they come off black, but they're actually cranberries. So I just wanted to show you what I used. But like I said, I do a baked potato with butter, sour cream, cheese, a little bit of bacon bits, and then the bag salad. I didn't even cut up any broccoli or cucumbers this week. But this is the one I'm using here. It's dried cranberries and candied pecans. They also come with almonds and um, dried cherries. There's just a million different varieties. Check your local grocery store. There's my plate and I've got just a big piece of chicken. It does make it kind of orangey looking with all that barbecue sauce but I like to kind of pierce mine a little bit, pull it apart, and then um, go back to the crock pot and put just a little bit of juice over it as I get ready to eat it. That was another quick, easy, delicious, out the door, meat and veggie dinner, crock pot favorite. The next night, I took out the leftover chicken. I made a whole bag, like I think it's a two and a half or three pound bag of frozen chicken in the crock pot. Um, but I took out some of my leftover chicken and I'm just chopping it up. And we're gonna make some pizzadillas and some barbecue chicken quesadillas. First thing I do is put a little butter in my skillet and I just use plain old flour tortillas. And I'm gonna use pasta sauce on this one. I'm making it just regular pizza kind with pepperonis. I've taken just regular old bag pepperonis and chopped them up a little bit. Put down pizza sauce, some mozzarella cheese. Come back in with those pepperonis. Anything you want here, mushrooms, onions, sausage. You can just put anything you like in these. Once you get everything you want inside, I just go back over the top and kind of press down another tortilla. Let that bottom side crisp up. I'll flip it over very, very carefully. Now I'm gonna build mine. Once again, just get a little better down flour tortilla. I'm using barbecue sauce as my base. Really had a barbecue theme going this week. But this was another one of those meals where, you know, I cooked once and I've got chicken to use for another recipe. 
and that's why meal planning is just so important to me because I'm busy, got places to be, and things I want to do, and I do love cooking, but I want to get out of that kitchen and have life too. So this, I like to meal plan and plan ahead for these things. And I did use Monterey Jack cheese in mine, barbecue chicken. I must have been out of bacon or just forgot about it because I usually would stick that in there. And I know I didn't have a red onion or I would have had that in mine too. You can serve them with, you know, sour cream, just whatever you want on the side. My daughter's I'm going to show you her pizza one look at that yummy gooey cheese and pepperoni she said this was so good and she likes to dip hers in ranch dressing and you can see we finished off that bag of salad just pretty as a little picture and these are great if you want to do like a little Friday night snack dinner even if you just want cheese in them Make them up and put them on like a little snack board. Serve some salsa, cheese dip, tortilla chips, some fruit, some nuts, some cheese sticks. And just have a fun little dinner out of them. So by the last night of Bible school, I was ready to have a good homestyle meal. So I pulled out a favorite crock pot chicken and stuffing. The first thing you're going to do is mix up half a cup of sour cream, a can of cream of chicken soup, and about a fourth a cup of milk more or less. I just stir it in until it gets the consistency that I want it to be. I also put just salt and pepper to taste and some Italian seasoning. And once again, I'm using some chicken. I did put it in a bag in the refrigerator the night before to begin thawing out, but it wasn't completely thawed, but it's fine. It just cooks up perfect. Spray my crock pot and throw that in. And then I'm going to also just throw some salt and pepper and Italian seasoning on the chicken. You just want the flavor to come all the way through. And this is a very flavorful crock pot meal come in with a Plano box of stovetop stuffing mix. I've got chicken flavor and it has nice herb and season and all that in it too. Just spread it out over your chicken and then you're going to put the soup and mayonnaise sour cream mixture over the top of that. And just spread it out as best you can to cover all of your stuffing so that it'll kind of cook it up and it won't, it won't have hard pieces in it. And I'm going to cover this and cook it on low for about four hours. Just going to go in and begin to fluff it up. And I like to take a fork down into the chicken and kind of shred it underneath that and just mix it all together. I didn't have to stand over the oven or the stove and do a lot of cooking, but I still had a quick, easy home style meal. Had some copper penny carrots with just brown sugar and butter and green beans and instant mashed potatoes. I hope this week's meals has given you some inspiration that just a little bit of planning can go a long way. This week it was going to be quicker for me to come straight home from work and put something together than to go through some drive through somewhere and honestly we ate much better. So a little prep work and just a little meal planning will go a long way. I hope you'll find something in here that you enjoy. Let me know what your favorite meal is and if you try any of these. I can't wait to hear from you. And I will see you next week. Until then, I send you love from my kitchen.